Now, meanwhile, Trudeau's authoritarian tactics have sparked a massive backlash abroad and at home. In fact, today, Trudeau was taken to task on the floor of Parliament, where he let his true colors fly. If Canadians are to trust their government, their government needs to trust Canadians. Those are the words of the Prime Minister in 2015. These people, very often misogynistic, racist, women haters, science deniers, the fringe. Same Prime Minister six years later as he fans the flames of an unjustified national emergency. Conservative Party members can stand with people who wave swastikas. They can stand with people who wave uh, the Confederate flag. We will choose to stand with Canadians who deserve to be able to get to their jobs, who be able to get their lives back. Now, the courageous member of Parliament you just saw, Melissa Lansman, joins me now. Uh, MP Lansman, um, thank you for joining us tonight. Now, Thanks for having tell me. Us, tell us what was going through your mind when you heard his reference to swastikas. Look, this is not a surprise to me. Uh, you just said it. This is his true colors. I sit there and watch him uh, divide uh, and wedge and stigmatize uh, Canadians every single day. And today, the rest of Canada saw a G7 prime minister go after a Jewish member of parliament and then walk away and not apologize. Do you think there is an anti-Semitic element to this or was it just a slip, a verbal slip? Well, look, I think that words matter. And if you looked at my inbox in my office and you saw what my what my staff was uh, looking at, when you accuse somebody of standing with a swastika, you get you get an influx of people calling you a Nazi. And that's not OK. And he is driving that. He's been driving division in this country uh, throughout this uh, uh, throughout the um, uh, was since the protest started, since before the protest started for his political get, uh, uh, gain. And I think his leadership is in trouble. The country's in trouble and he's lost control of the situation. Now, I would like to play now what happened when you did demand the apology from Trudeau. Watch. I think he owes me an apology. I'd like an apology, and I think he owes an apology to all members of this house. Now, MP Lanceman, he actually left after insulting you like that. Uh, that was his response. Kind of, he'd run and hide is kind of his uh, trademark at this point. Your reaction. Yeah, look, he's he's lost control, and I'll I'll just give your uh, you know your viewers. I can't call that out. There's rules that say that I can't call that out. Okay. Uh, but he is he is not like he was not there. He he has not apologized, uh, and I expect an apology. I got to tell you. Canada is the best country in the world. My parents chose it. I'm a child of, uh, of a grandchild of Holocaust uh, survivors. Uh, and to watch what is happening and what the prime minister is driving in this country is frankly egregious. How much hate has been directed at you and others who just believe in free expression and the right to protest, even take away concerns about mandates and the truckers and cross border traffic? Set that aside. How much hate have you seen out there just directed at you? Look, I think the division, the division in this country is growing and it's it's being it, it's growing because of the prime minister's rhetoric on this. We've got an earl, urban rural divide. We've got a an east west uh, divide and that's being wedged uh, uh, by the prime minister. I'm the party's transport uh, critic. So we've been calling uh, to an end to these mandates, uh, particularly the cross border trucking mandate uh, since earlier this year. We are one of you know, we are one of the highest. We've got one of the highest values vaccination rates. And we also have one of the we, we are the country with the highest, most draconian restrictions. So if he wants to end this today, uh, he could have done that 19 days ago before uh, putting forward a national emergency that is not justified. Uh, he could have gone out and, uh, and and talked to people rather than calling them racist and misogynist. And we could have put an end to this. He can drop the mandates and he can drop the restrictions today. Uh, and I think that we will have a much more cohesive country. MP Lanceman, thank you very much for joining us tonight and being a leader in your country at this point.